Continuing Adventures of the Submariner. The Submariner, young prince of that odd race of amphibians, lies on a land, sea, and in the air, ventures for the first time to America to wage a war of espionage against the white man. Namer dives from a stolen plane. Along uncharted lanes through the subsea, he spurts. What is his destination? Rising suddenly to the surface, he gazes, spellbound, at New York City's skyline. Cautiously, he swims about the harbor, investigating. Puzzled, he views the docks and looks with wonder at a highly illumined, solid-looking building on the water's edge. As he slowly treads water, he he suddenly feels himself being sucked down and forward, faster and faster, toward the building. With superhuman strength, Namor fights the irresistible current. to no avail. He is pulled rapidly into a great tube. Dazed, Namer continues to struggle violently. With semi-conscious logic, he stretches his huge arms, bracing them against the walls of the tube. Straining, he changes position. And with a terrific shove, he's through. A geyser of water burst into the powerhouse under the Submariner's gigantic push. Panic spreads through the powerhouse. Valves are hurriedly turned to stop the rush of water. And catapulted high into the girders, Namer looks down on the scene 
of excitement. Look, who's that? What's he doing up there? Frightened by their discovery of him, he gets to his feet. A trip's on a live wire. The shock infuriates him. Maddened by this, thinking it one of the engineer's tricks to destroy him, he rips a girder from its rivets and hurls it with gigantic force to the startled crowd below.